Yep, uh, that's you know part part of the game. It's tough, you know, and you gotta give them credit. They did a good job the entire night of, of continuing to pressure, getting their hands up, and um, it's tough to go against. But you know, you gotta learn from it, be better, and uh, hopefully we can do that across the board as we move forward. You know, I was down 18, but battle back. What does that say about the team? And uh, I just couldn't get a uh, coach that couldn't get the conversion on third and one to make it all the way. Yeah, I think, you know, got it to a three-point game um, and, and, you know, had some momentum, really did. And uh, credit to them, you know, they, they changed the tide, did a good job in the fourth quarter uh, putting us away. But, you know, I think there's things we can improve on. I think there's, there's a lot of things we can uh, correct, you know, which is a positive for us moving forward. Um, I think the effort's been good. I just think we need to be a little bit more detailed across the board. If we can do that, I think we can be a good football team moving forward. I thought Kyle did a nice job for us. You know, made a couple good explosive plays for us. Uh, caught contested balls. Um, thought his effort was awesome. Thought his route running was really good. And you know, I really think you know as he moves forward during the year, he's, he's going to continue to get better and better. Uh, the more comfortable and more experienced he gets. Well, I think, yeah, for sure. I think, I think there's fight, you know, I think there's guys that compete, um, give you everything they got. And when you have guys like that, you, you have a chance. I think we've all collectively, you know, got to be more detailed, um, tighten things up, be more on the same page in all three phases uh, and continue to get better. But I'm optimistic, you know, disappointed, but optimistic. Um, with the type of effort we're getting from the guys and, 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 and the way they're focused and working during the week. Um, with that said, we have to make the corrections. You know, we have to, you know, get tighter as a group, get more detailed as a group. They're always frustrating when you lose, you know. It, uh, every time you watch them, it's like there, there's opportunities that you had. And so, um, you know, it's, 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 and this is really a message for, for our guys and our young guys. It, it, it can be frustrating, but it's a wasted opportunity, you know, if we don't learn from it and we don't correct the things that we can correct moving forward. Uh, experience is great uh, for everyone. And um, I think you learn a lot from those experiences, both positive and negative. Uh, and we got to be mature enough to be able to learn from them. Yeah, I think you know, just being all on the same page, making sure that uh, you know, both in the run game and the pass game, we're targeted to the correct people all the time. Uh, you know, we're at our route depths. I'm efficient, getting the ball out when I need to get it out. Uh, going to the right spaces versus certain looks. Uh, it's all those type of things. And I think, you know, the margin of error in this league, I, I know I, I've said this a number of times before, but the margin of error in this league is very small. And so the teams that, you know, are consistent week to week are the ones that are very detailed. And so uh, that's, you know, my message for guys moving forward. Let's, let's focus on our details and, and try and get those things right. What was the uh, key to that second half surge? Where do you think you kind of well, we converted third downs. You know, I think that's the key. You stay on the field, uh, you convert some third downs, and some that were not in ideal third down situations either, but we converted them. And when you do that and you create a few, you know, a few explosive plays, you know, it gives you a much easier chance to, to score points. And um, I thought we did a nice job of that in the third quarter. But we can throw that out. 17 game schedule now. It's all different. Right? <laughs> I don't want to hear those statistics. No. Do you want to do you guys some on that because there is that extra game? Yeah, for sure. There's 15 games to go. We've got a long season in front of us. And uh, we've got a lot of youth in our locker room. So I, I, I do think um, there's an opportunity for us to get better. But we have to correct the things that, that we haven't done well so far. Get 
you know, I'm not sitting here for you to say, hey, you know, you're this and this. No, I'm not worried about three weeks from now. You know, I, I'm, I'm worried about, you know, getting back to work tomorrow, uh, making sure that, you know, like I said, when, when we do watch that film, um, you know, that guys are, are locked in on what needs to be corrected and then focused on getting onto that practice field Wednesday and putting together a really good week of practice to give ourselves a chance to go up and get a win next week. Because, you know, I, I think if you look too far down the road, you know, you, you're not focused on exactly what you need to be focused on this week. What was the Yeah, mood's never great after losses, you know. Everybody's um, disappointed, you know. We, you, you know, you plan all week to come down and, and, and get the job done, and when you don't, that's disappointing. Uh, but at the same time, you know, the message is it's a long haul. We're two games into a 17-game schedule, and, and we got a long way to go. And I thought Art did a good job of, of getting that message across to the guys. Matt, you were talking about, you know, you guys had momentum down three points, get the ball back, and it's three and out. The punt, they score quickly. Is there something you can point to that causes all those things to kind of go in their favor at once, or is it just they made those plays a bunch in a row? Is it experience? Is it you know, having been in those situations? Every game's different. You know, today I think it's, you know, when you have your opportunity on third and one, you know, keeping the game going, uh, that's a shot, that's an opportunity, you know, that, that we didn't convert and connect on. And when you're playing against a really good football team like we did today, you, you got to hit on most of your opportunities. And... Um, you know, at a few times throughout the game, not only that one, but at a few times throughout the game, we didn't we didn't hit on ours. The uh, two passes, uh, there's always this debate, you know, who should be doing more of this now. Was that two passes today? Was it more that it was getting too much penetration and you not having room for it? Yeah, I think, you know, it's tough. I got to look at both of them. Um, obviously, I thought I could get both of them out. You know, that's 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 part of playing. Um, but I'll take a look at him and uh, hopefully give you a better answer Wednesday. And then the other thing, um, obviously a lot happened after this, but the first half you had a possession where you were two timeouts and a false start. I know one of the timeouts that you landed to the guys on the field. The other timeout, was it just guys being laid up wrong? Or you know, like Down on the clock on the second one. Uh, I can't remember if it was the first or the second. One was not enough guys on the field, and the second was just down on the clock, having a motion. And, you know, again, those are, those are all the kind of things that, you know, we've got to do a better job. We would have had three timeouts in that situation and a half. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we can, um, you know, we can be better there. Um, I don't know, but it's, it's, uh, it's nice to be mentioned, you know, with Drew. Anytime you mention with him, that's a good thing.